Ready? Let's, yeah, ready. Let's, let's go. Action. How's the shot? Um. Yeah, good, good. It's good? Good. All right, let's have a look at this. That is all overexposed. I was wearing my glasses. I think you can fix it in post. Fix it in post. You could have just put this filter on and... I didn't know. Okay. I need to go. Bye. Sorry. I don't have an option. Fix it in post. Fix it in post. Hey, it's Sanjeet from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Previously on the Fix It In Post journey, you saw all the ways in which we can tackle bad audio in our videos. If you haven't seen that video, you can find the link to the playlist in the section below or at the end of the video. Well, today we've got a hot one. We're gonna be going through some overexposed footage and try out various methods in which we can try to recover this burnt, toast-like footage and make it usable in Filmora. And without any further ado, let's get right in. We at Wondershare do not support fix it and post. Please pay attention to the detail in pre-production and production to avoid this. However, we are here to help you in any way we can. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on our channel. Let's kick things off with this clip, which is a common scenario. An overexposed sky that's stealing the show. In this case, our sky is mostly overexposed from the top. Overexposed to a degree that is pure white, and not much can really be done about it. Let's select the clip and go to the video tab. Now, this isn't some crazy hack, but if we try cropping into the footage about say 10 to 15%, we can still use this clip. Now going beyond that 10 to 15% is when people will actually start to notice that crop. It will also reduce the quality of the image and won't match the rest of the clips. So we recommend to keep it to a minimum. With this next clip here, our subject is directly in the sun and well, is overexposed. To make this clip usable, we're going to head over to the color tab and make some adjustments. Before we go there, we're going to apply the gamma corrector from the new blue effects to bring up the waveform. Now, heading back to the color tab, let's start by bringing down the brightness and play around with the sliders in the light panel. The waveform monitor allows us to locate the bright and dark areas in our video. The overexposed parts will appear as dot clusters, and the white line on the waveform monitor will tend towards 100, which is pure white. Heading over to the Color Reels tab, let's bring down the highlights. And as you can see, this can drastically make a difference. We can now see some details emerge. A few tweaks here and there, and our footage is now usable. So we filmed a clip that we thought would be an interesting establishing shot, but apparently the sky is completely blown out. Since this was intended to be used as an intro shot and cannot be fixed in any manner, we can try something else. We can direct the viewer's attention away from the overexposed parts of the image. Let's head over to the Titles tab and look for a title that could suit the video. Let's position this to divert the attention away from the overexposed part of the footage and use a font and color that would stand out from the background. We can also add stickers to make it more appealing. If you've ever filmed indoors where there's lights or windows, you'll relate to this next clip. We have this clip of the subject, and for some reason it seemed like a good idea to film right next to the window on a bright sunny day. Now, we can try out one of the tricks colorists use. Let's duplicate our clip and place one on the second track. Now, let's select the clip and create a mask over the window by adding a draw mask. Heading over to the color tab, let's try and bring down some values on brightness and highlights. In this case, this method is not working as it's way too bright. One way to still use this clip is to add something like a graphic or title to cover up the entire window. Head over to the titles tab and look for a graphic that's relevant to your footage and position it over the window. Going back to the clips filmed outdoors, skies can definitely be a challenge. Two things I'd recommend are an ND filter and a polarizer, but more on that in another video. Here, we have a more creative approach. This clip here is baked to a crisp. The sky is pure white and we'll be going straight to the recycling bin. 
Or we can get a bit creative. Look for footage of a nice sky. We can draw a mask around the area of the sky and put that footage to use as our replacement sky. Now this method is a bit more on the creative side, but if your video allows for it, it could actually be a pretty cool effect. We also have a detailed video on the sky replacement technique, so check that out. And there you have it. There will always be moments where you can't control the circumstances while filming, and that's where knowing how to fix it in post will come to save the day. Now it's your turn to jump in and experiment. If this tutorial sparked your creativity, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips like these and share your thoughts in the comments. What other things would you like us to fix in post? Until next time, keep creating.